Uh, well, I'm going to respond to this as Peter Legacy, not necessarily as an African. What has happened in America, the assassination attempt on Mr. Trump is hugely condemnable. Nobody would wish this to be happening in the age we are in. Nobody would expect that America today will be grappling with uh, issues of uh, such significance. But be it as it may, it's a beautiful thing the Secret Service rose to the occasion. The FBI have been able to identify the young boy behind the shooting uh, named Thomas Crook. One will begin to ask, what is the motive behind it, which is what is in the lips of so many at the moment. Some school of thought are beginning to ask, is this another art of the deal? Well, you wouldn't rule that out. Mr. Trump is known for doing ever, whatever he needs to do to get his deals. This art of the deal is a book that might give you a perspective into the workings of the mind of Mr. Trump, give you insight into the thinkings of Mr. Trump. Uh, one who could do whatever it takes to uh, get his deal, who could do just anything to ensure that things work as he would want them, which of course this time is winning the presidency for the second time. Uh, uh, the presidential election is one that is hugely dicey. Uh, changing the narrative is something he has become very good in. I'm not saying in any sense that this was premeditated or stage managed, but I wouldn't rule out the possibility. I would expect that uh, we we'll look at the whole picture and in investigating all these possibilities are put into account and explored. It, it wouldn't be of harm uh, broadening the, the scope of investigation to ensure that at least the truth is unraveled. And I, I, I pray that he lives long enough to uh, actually put this down and uh, lead us into insight on what transpired on this day. But by and large, I pray that he gets well. I pray that it works for him. I personally like Mr. Trump. He's one that appreciates America. He's one that believes that countries should grow in their peace. He believes that uh, people should concentrate in their countries. Uh, one who believes that nations should be able to look in worlds and develop their countries rather than shifting the burden on America and the other countries as the case may be. What could be more embarrassing is that we look up to most of these uh, countries as civilized and uh, in Africa we believe that democracy which we try to practice has gained uh, ground in America and uh, other Western countries. But that becomes a betrayal to our hope and trust in ideals. Uh, politics, the way it is being played in America today, has left a little less than desired. Uh, one would look at America and some Western countries as epitome of uh, democracy and politics generally. We're seeing people uh, actually clinging onto power in ways that are uh, not constitutional for them, but uh, the morality of it is one we begin to question. Where then do you drive the morality to begin to question African leaders who? Uh, have decided to cling on to power. If you find it difficult to appreciate that there could be other people who could uh, possibly lead the country much more than you. Well, that makes a mockery of what we see in Africa here. But then I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Assassination attempt is an embarrassment. It's a disappointment globally. And America is one uh, Africans and other third world countries look up to for ideal in politics and democracy. So when things of this magnitude happen, it begins to send disappointment to our aspirations and expectations. Regardless, I just pray that they get these things right and the, the political institutions and democracy is not pulled down the drain. I wish America were, I wish Mr. Trump quick recovery. And I do pray that politics and the democratic institutions do not become the victim of this power play.